Hello everybody, here today to talk about Roll for Initiative's Diffusion Volcanic Blast 15 die set. You can see this die set comes in a nice transparent case, it fits the dice pretty well. On the top cap here, the company's got a nice 3D logo. You open this up, you can see that the sides of this case are a little more flexible than say something like a Chessex dice case. But with that hard plastic top and then a reinforced base here, as long as you got this thing vertical, you don't have anything to worry about. Alright, let's get these bad boys to the table and let's get rolling. This many dice, I'm actually going to use two hands to roll these. So Roll for Initiative's Diffusion Volcanic Blast set actually comes in two different options. You can get this as a 7 die set or a 15 die set. The 15 die set here normally goes for anywhere between $24 and $28, but sometimes you can pick it up on sale for as low as $15. The Diffusion series is actually a two-color series and a transparent resin. You can see it's kind of a black and an orange ink with a gold glitter throughout it. They claim to be about 20% larger than your traditional dice. Uh, you can really see this in the D12 and the D20 that they are really larger than kind of standard dice. I'll throw a picture up for that. And then they claim to have a balanced D20. So they say that all the adjacent sides on these guys add up to either 52 or 53 and that leads to a more balanced d20 for your rolling and then last but not least and kind of the reason i picked up this set is these arch d4s this is what really drew me to this set i wanted to see what these things were like i was really curious about these guys so yeah the d4 here you can see it actually shows off that diffusion of those colors with the glitter really well uh, i guess somebody got really sick and tired of stepping on uh, you know, sharp objects, you know, kind of the gone is the bane of the unobservant hands or feet being impaled with these guys. They've got nice rounded edges and they actually feel pretty pleasant to roll. Um, I was actually, I was really pleasantly surprised with these guys. I do, I do like that arch style. Of course, you know, that, you know, sharp Caltrop pyramid is the classic, but these are actually a really nice alternative. I, I think if you're stepping on these things a lot, uh, this, would be a good alternative to look at save your hands and feet there so next up you get the d6s they give you four of these guys these actually look pretty well these just really show off that diffusion really well that effect these are about 16 millimeters so i've actually kind of noticed a lot of die sets have 16 millimeter d6s so these aren't really uh larger than a traditional set that so far that i've seen but again they're nice dice lettering's done really well the d8s here spin this guy around these look pretty cool they got nice bold lettering that white is really easy to see in that diffusion background you got the d10s again nice and easy to see although on my set kind of i noticed both the sevens have a little bit of an inking problem uh, so Oh well, I mean it's it's very barely noticeable. Got the D100 again, nice and clear to see. Good effects on that. The D12, this guy's really nice and big. I actually like this one a lot. Really bold, easy to see numbering when you roll that guy. Ooh, one, you can see those results really well. And then the D20s. Uh, so depending on how you measure these. You know, flat to flat, they're 22 millimeters. If you do point to point vertically, it's about 25. Um, this is the only die in the whole set that, you know, they don't really have nice bold numbering compared to all the rest of these guys. You look at them, you know, it's just nice big numbers you can see easily on there. So, I mean, it's, it's not like they're not easy to read at all. I mean, you can see that here on the camera that they, you know, it stand out what the results are. It's just... I wish they were a little kind of bolder to match the rest of the dice here, especially like these D4s and D6s, and even the D10s and D8s. You know, they all, well, in the D12, yeah, they all have nice big font numbers. It's just uh, the D20 here, they're a little bit smaller than the rest of them. The funny thing about this dice set, I think these actually look better in kind of lower lighting conditions. Uh, if you have them in really bright kind of like direct sunlight, they actually get a little too transparent for my taste. So I I think that when these are in kind of more indirect light, you know, kind of your mid, lower lighting levels, they actually look better with that diffused ink and that resin. And it just makes them easier to see. 
overall, the inking's done very well. Like I said, just on those D10s, on the 7s, that's really the only issue in the entire 15 die set. So that's really good. You know, these dice, they're a nice size in the hand. You know, they feel good when you're rolling them. And I think, you know, they're easy to easy to read. You know, they, they look good. And you get a lot of dice here. I mean, you got 3D4s, 46, you know, character generation. You got your 2D20s for advantage, disadvantage. You only get 1D12. Um, that may or may not matter to you. You can always pick up more dice for these guys. But you get a lot of options here. And so if you need a larger dice set, this is something I would check out. Roll for Initiatives, Diffusion Volcanic Blast, 15 Dice Set. All right, thanks everybody, and please leave your thoughts below in the comments.